Well, everyone, we are coming very, very close to the next iPhones coming out, which are the iPhone 14s. And what's super crazy to me is how much these older iPhones and some of them are actually still maintaining their value quite a bit. And honestly, if you actually own any of these iPhones or if you're, you know, currently having an iPhone and you have some backup iPhone or maybe your old iPhone you just have sitting around, I would highly, highly, highly recommend selling off your older iPhones and or doing something else in order to actually get the maximum amount of resale value for your specific iPhone that you have right now. So let's say you have an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13 and you used to use an iPhone 10. I'm going to tell you selling off that iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 or iPhone, you know, 10s, whatever you have that you don't, you know, you're using anymore, selling off that iPhone, you can go ahead and get the maximum amount of resale value you could probably have ever gotten in the last two years iPhones right now, especially these used ones, are maintaining their value quite a bit. They're still kind of fluctuating all over the place, but very soon, I feel like once the iPhone 14s come out, a lot of these older iPhones are going to go down in value by a huge margin. So it may make a lot of sense to go ahead and sell off your older iPhones. That way you can go ahead and maximize the return and go ahead and pick up an iPhone 14 if you want to, or just keep your current iPhone and then go from there. However, something I've personally done a couple times that I actually did did kind of find myself kind of utilizing quite a bit was actually selling off my latest iPhone that I actually used using my older iPhone maybe like a month or two and then buying an iPhone 14 or the latest iPhone so essentially how this would look like again I don't know if everyone should do this but basically I would use like in this case an iPhone 13 Pro I still have my iPhone 12 Pro laying around so what I would do in order to maximize my resale value I would go ahead and sell off my iPhone 13 Pro you could still probably get you know 800 to 900 to you know you know, probably $900 for this thing. Sometimes I've seen these things go up even more in the used market just because they're not available all the time. But since they've been available, you could go ahead and sell off your 13 Pro, let's just say $850. Well, what I would do then is I would go ahead and go back to my iPhone 12 Pro. I would use that thing for a few more months, even if it's an 11 Pro, an iPhone 10, whatever it was. And then when the iPhone 14 Pro comes out, I will go ahead and purchase the 14 Pro. And that way, I'm actually not losing as much money. My 11 Pro, you know, I could probably sell for what, like, $350, $400. My 13 Pro, I just sold for $800 plus. So because of that, I technically lost less money. I lost less depreciation going from the 13 Pro down to the 12 Pro and selling the 13 Pro than going from then just selling the 12 Pro and then getting the 14 Pro and maybe even selling my 13 Pro. The, the latest models are what's pretty much going to see the biggest depreciation. So you have two different options here, but since the iPhone 14s are pretty much around the corner, you have probably the time right now to maximize the amount of money you can get back. And I'll probably tell you if you want to, probably selling off your older iPhones or maybe even selling your newest one and going back to your older one, it's probably one of the better deals for you. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.